Meat bicycle! Hello everybody! Welcome back to another episode of The Hunt here on Borderlands Universe. Uh, today we are back in the pre-sequel. So we ended the last episode uh, very quickly, came to the Lunar Launching Station to farm uh, the Lost Legion Power Suit Noob for uh, the legendary shooting star shield. We managed to pick up the Marex... No, I keep saying Marex Mouth. It's not the Marex Mouth. It's the... Uh, it's the, uh, the, the meat grinder. We got the meat grinder um, from Meathead, and then we had a bit of a uh, bit of a domestic with Meg. Uh, yeah, we kind of fell out with Meg a little bit, but uh, she eventually dropped us the torrent as well, so we could add that to our nice little list of items. So uh, I really wanted to get some cobra farming done as well because the cobra has been patched since I started recording these. And uh, I really wanted to uh, to uh, go and farm it, but Meg kind of screwed me. So, ow! Do you mind? I want a bit of I want a bit of tombstone here. You, you're my tombstone friend. There we go. Right here we go. Then power suit noob should be a lot easier now. Just keep doing that, and hopefully we'll get a shooting star pretty quickly off this guy. But he's not. Uh, He's not the best for dropping them, he's just a nice short run, so uh, I don't mind farming this guy because it doesn't take long at all. We're about to go down as well, so we'll quit out cowardly before we do that. But yeah, I really wanted to get some cobra farming done in the last episode, um, but Meg just took too long, so uh, we had to finish right here. But hopefully this guy will not take very long at all today, and then we can head back over to Borderlands 2 and uh, get some decent farming done. Right, let's start the tombstone off here then. This guy wants to help us. No, my aim is poor and he's just not liking this. Uh... Come on, there we go, we've got tombstone now. Let's keep it up. And just go straight for this guy. Boom, once he's down, it's pretty easy. And uh, yeah, he doesn't drop too much loot. It's a nice flat floor, so uh, we can see pretty quickly if he's dropped out or not. And if he hasn't, off we go. So uh, we'll start off with a shooting star. And then I think we'll leave the pre-sequel. Head over to Borderlands 2. Maybe, depending on how quick this guy actually drops this. We'll, uh, we'll get a unique red text weapon. And then after that, we could probably try and uh, go for the Cobra. I don't know where that guy went. Come on, don't do this to me. Just give me Tombstone. Give me tombstone, you can be my tombstone, there we go. Quick. Oh god, that did not go well. He's not too bad anyway to farm, but if you've got a bit of tombstone, it makes it a hell of a lot quicker. Now I've got to be careful as well, because I don't know if this has been patched or not, but uh, you can occasionally see the shooting star shield flying out of this guy, and then it drops straight through the floor, which is pretty annoying. Hopefully that won't happen to us today though. Like I said, it could have been patched because it was known about. It's happened to me only once before, but then again, I haven't uh, I haven't farmed this guy a lot in the past, just for uh, a certain couple of episodes or things like that. Right, let's go for your head. That, that'll do. Then let's get this guy. Now we've got Tombstone. We can just spray over here. Makes it so much easier to farm. Good old Nisha, you do not even need to aim. You can just fly and spray. <laughs> I love a bit of uh, love a bit of bullet spray. Who wants accuracy when you've got aimbot? Such an overpowered skill this though, really. Thinking about it, it is just complete aimbot, isn't it, really? I know all the other skills, you know, I've obviously got certain buffs and things like that, but this is just a pure aimbot. But, makes my life a hell of a lot easier. That's a gun, damn it. No guns. Well, that's a good amount of runs on it already. A very good amount of runs. Time just flies when you're farming as well, really. 
five minutes in already. I was, could swear, if someone said to me, how long have you been farming now? I'd have said two or three minutes, and it's been five, so... Uh, yes. Here we go. Straight down. Get fatalid. Oh, didn't mean to drop down there. No. Oh, that one there. Uh, it's half through the floor, but it's not gone all the way through. Damn it. Don't quit out yet. Keep the ammo flying. There we go. Nice little top up. Got a really good system going here, actually. It's working out pretty well. Thought I'd have been down by now. Thought I'd have gone down at least once to them guys at the uh, start. Right. I've got my system now. Go after these guys. Kill one of them. Or both. And off we go. Comic Crush, what is that? Don't know, but it's just giving me 10 badass rank, so I'm not complaining. That's just money. Absolutely no loot at all. Thought I'd have dropped a little bit of loot, right? Then again, I'm not bothered. If he keeps dropping greens, that's not going to help us at all. So, if he drops nothing, it might mean next time he'll drop something good. Where are my bees? Here they are. Hello guys. May I take your heads off? Thank you. Yes. Nothing again? Oh no, there's a bit there. Oh. Purple skin. This is so quick it's unreal. <laughs> it's one of the quickest farms on this game for sure. Apart from... Maybe the Tiny Destroyer, that's a hell of a... But to kill the Tiny Destroyer isn't as quick as uh, killing this guy because you've got no enemies to uh, to get Tombstone from, which is obviously the, the skill on Nisha that once you kill someone, you'll see purple text flying everywhere when I shoot people. Well, there you go, critical text. That is just pure Tombstone in the mix. I'm not even showdown in there. Moonstone, no. So yeah, although the, uh, the Tiny Destroyer is easier to get to, well, quicker to get to, uh, this is probably one of the quickest kill farms you can do on this game. For sure. Right. No, don't want them. Well, I do, but they, uh, they're they for special occasions. <laughs> they're for really whipping some ass. I get asked about them all the time as well, in nearly every video that I do that I use the T4SRs in. Always, always, what's that gun you're using? What are them pistols? Probably because they are so badass though, but... They do cost a lot of ammo. They're quite high maintenance, these guys. I suppose if you're on a map where uh, you're spawning in next to a vending machine that sells ammo, it's not too bad either, but like on this map here, to get to the vendors, it's not a massive distance, but you're running around there, and it just takes time, so, uh, yeah, they're not the best for things like that. Well, I couldn't hit his quick or spot all them. I can hit yours, though. Haha. -ha. Easy life. Shield? No. Class mod. Well, that's well over 10 runs I would have thought now. Well over. In fact, let's time a run. Let's see how long it takes. I'm currently sat at 9 minutes... Four, 9 minutes 5, we'll say. On my recording. Obviously, for you guys, it'll probably be 9.15 with the intro in at the beginning. Right, get you down pretty quickly. That's 20 seconds right there. But to check the loot as well, to open this and spawn back into the exact same place. Right, 20 seconds to actually get the kill and 40 seconds.
to get back to the exact same place she was at, which is spawning in. That ain't bad going at all, really, for a farm. Probably done it quicker this time as well. No, I haven't. I've gone the wrong way. It's the thing with the aimbot, you can't control it half the time. Right, it's about now I'll be expecting the drop. Please, because, uh, yeah, I think we've put enough time and effort into it now. So, any minute, please, Mr. Power Suit Noob. Don't make me go all Meg on your ass. Just not destined to farm for the Cobra, I think. Alright, we'll go after you, because you're stood still. There we go. Smooth. No. A white shield, are you kidding me? What kind of boss are you? Here we go. Back once again. Only one of you this time? Oh god. You went down quick then. Oh god. Flying. That looks good. Oh, you troll. That was a grenade with that at the side of it. When I was in showdown, it looked like the shape of a... Uh, looked like the shape of a shield. Damn you. Just goes to show how your eyes can play tricks on you sometimes. Feeling an armory farm coming on soon as well, and a Cromorax farm as well. It's amazing, you can do 10 episodes worth of farming on Borderlands 2 and the pre sequel, um, get all your bits you need, all your gear, and that, and then you can go to the armory. Oh, come on! You can go to the armory and get as much in one run as you can on like 10 episodes of. Uh, the other games so uh, yeah I don't want to go to the armory too much because one we'll start running out of things and we'll just keep getting duplicates but two we'll just fill them lists up too damn quickly and then I'll have a uh, I'll have nothing to do really so I want to try and pace myself on that but uh, certainly feeling every five or six episodes maybe we'll definitely do an armory run I know it's only been probably I think this is the second episode now since the last armory run but uh, We'll do another army run probably next episode, and a Cromorax run, and then uh, we can s focus on uh, Borderlands 2 and the pre-sequel after that for a little bit. That's a bit of money. Wow. To me that looked like a shield as well. My eyes are really playing tricks on me today. Right, we're at 13 and a half minutes nearly, so... I want to get this before 20, but I'm hoping the 15 minute mark is a nice amount of farming, especially on how many runs we can do. I mean, I reckon you can do 20, 25 runs in 15 minutes if you're quick enough, like this. Okay, maybe not like that, but hey. Go away. You're not worth my time. But yeah, if we can get it before the 20 minute mark, we'll go in and do 10 minutes of Cobra farming. If we can get it any second now, I might try and get a, uh, get a cheeky unique in there as well. As long as we get one per episode though, for now, I'm quite happy. But it would be nice to... Uh, be nice to get two in if we can. Not at this rate we're not though. Like I said though, I'm fully expecting this to take a while. This guy has never been known for me to drop it in one or two runs. Couple couple have, no it's all complete random 
mechanics, but uh, you do get your patterns now and again. You get your, well, apart from uh, last episode, you get your megs that will drop it first time. Uh, your Corporal Bob will. Uh, I've had the Bosun drop uh, the Cryphobia a couple of times. Nell. Nell's a really good uh, guy for dropping that school masher in two or three runs. And then you get your uh, your gits that don't, your Captain Flints, your uh, your people like that. See that Boom Boom in Borderlands 2? Boom Boom would normally take you at the very most, sometimes five runs, to drop um, the bonus package. But then you've got your, your Midge Mongs and your, your Captain Flints that'll take you, oh, hours. Hours and hours sometimes. Hello. Lost Legion Dead Eye. Let's keep the tombstone rolling. Let's do this without. We don't need a showdown really, do we? Plus it allows us to see straight away if he drops us anything. Right. Come on, my friend, you big noob. Let's go. Give us that nice shield, please. Give us something to tick off our list. You're a git. You are a git. Plain and simple. Well, at least you didn't drop a white, though. That really does insult me sometimes when you... Uh, you kill a boss and there's just a white pistol sat there. Knuckle Dragon in Borderlands 2, you can understand that because it's the first boss you get to and uh, that famous little white pistol that drops every time if it's not the Hornet. But when you start getting to someone like this, it's pretty near the end of the game actually, uh, Lunar Launching Station. You expect more than a white pistol for your efforts. Then again, it's not really effort, is it? I mean, look, we're, we're spraying at uh, this guy and he's going down. <clears throat> hmm. Why did I pick him first? <laughs> Keep saying that on every boss that I'm going for, though. Why? Why did I pick them? I we'll have to start doing a couple of a uh, couple of two bosses and more as well. I think that will help production. Like we do in uh, Borderlands 2 in the dust, where we uh, we go after, oh crap, should have been tombstoning then, where we go after uh, Black Queen, Mobley and Gettle all in one run. You got three chances then. In fact, in the dust episode I think I did, was that episode three or four? We got five bosses in one go there, we did the whole map actually. Trouble is with Borderlands pre-sequel, there's normally only one, at the maximum two bosses per map. Which is a shame, you know. In Borderlands 2, you've got a couple of uh, you got the dust. You've got like Mobley, Get All, Black Queen, uh, the Zaffords of the Hodunks, and then uh, McNally. Um, even like the fridge, you've got you've got one straight run that will take you um, Laney White, Smash Ed, and Rackman. Just maximises your farms because even if you, you you do the run and Rackman drops it, the Gunnerang, you can still go through and do Laney and uh, Smash Head as well and things like that. A couple of maps like that though, but on here I think you've only really got research and development with uh, X Stalker and um, Tiny Destroyer. Um, who else? There is a couple of maps from them. Oh, the um, Stanton's Liver. Stanton's Liver, you've got the... Uh, wow, he went down like a sack of shite then. Um, yeah, Stanton's Liver, you've got Rooster Booster and the Disgusting Talk. Not really many more, actually. Might check that one out very quickly. But yeah, there's not, not a lot of maps where you've got two guys, or even two guys close together. Let's have a quick look. Um, one, two, but Red Belly and, uh, Red Belly and Bruce, they're quite 
long and hard, one, none, one, a oh, couple bob and meg I suppose, yeah, that's it, <laughs> there you go, that is it, so yeah, we've got a work cut out for us on the uh, on the pre-sequel, but Borderlands 2, we can get a, uh, a lot more done there, might have to go back to the dust as well at some point and get the rest of them, Oh, 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 are we going to go down this time? No, we're not. It's close, though. Right, where is this shield that you keep I mean, bragging about, my friend? I am just not destined to Cobra Farm, am I? Just not destined at all. I will get a couple of runs in, though, no matter what. We'll just have to make it a longer episode, if not. I was hoping to get a nice little unique as well, but... Obviously not. Definitely makes me want to uh, do some armory farming in Borderlands 1 in the next episode though. Really start to get some more things on this list because it's this episode and the last episode has been pretty steady really. I suppose the last episode we did get two things to add to the list. This episode we've got sweet sod all so far. But that's the way it is. But I'm certainly expecting for the first oh, 30 episodes easy uh, of this, we, we'll be able to get one, definitely one per episode. This poor guy, every time he comes out. Then again, you see that poor guy, this poor guy over here is getting it no matter what. But it's his own fault. If he complied with me, I'd go. Uh, I'd leave him alone. But he's not. He's holding out. We can't be having that. Well, I normally judge the length of my episode. Oh God, I should have. Uh, let me judge the length of, length of my episodes on how much tea I've got left in my cup. Um, and at the minute, we're, we're running a bit low. So, oh god, I've lost Tombstone. Well, this is going to be fun. That is because I can't talk and play sometimes at the same time. Uh, yeah, but normally judge an episode on how much tea I've got left. If I've not got much tea left, I, uh, I end the episode and go and make another one. And they we're running pretty low right now, and I've still got still got a bit of... Uh, the good thing about splitting the episodes up between Borderlands games, though, is I can end the recording, say, on when we get the shooting star drop, and then go and make myself a brew, and then <laughs> finish the rest of the episode, say, Cobra Farming. But, the way this guy's going at the minute, we might not get Cobra Farming. Oh, come on now. You are just being a git. Right. Next episode. If we don't get any cobra farming in this episode. Next episode I am starting out cobra farming. So we definitely, definitely get some in. Then again, it's nice to do at the end. <laughs> I'm so indecisive. See, it's making me think. Do I just get a straight bonus episode going where it's doesn't matter if we don't get anything we'll just have a chat and go cobra farming but cobra farming for half an hour is boring because you know you're not going to get it but you have to see that's I've talked about cobra farming a lot as well in the last couple of episodes I know I have I know I know I know but people who have farmed for it will know will understand I'm making out that that's the worst thing to actually get hold of. But I've just thought, the blooming Ajax... Um, the Ajax hybrid weapon in Borderlands 1, I'm pretty sure that's even worse. That is just pretty impossible and it's such a massively long run to get to him as well. So, there's me moaning about the Cobra. I probably know nothing yet. But I suppose the good thing about that is uh, you can use that as a way to uh, head to the armory or to Chromarax as well. So uh, if you just 
again keep going to the armory and uh, cause we've got pearl farming as well is not going to be fun. Pearl farming is not going to be fun at all. Especially as well, it's going to be annoying because um, I'm still doing Project Pearl episodes as well. Which is where I obviously go and find pearl weapons. But if I get a pearl in Project Pearl, I'm going to be annoyed if it's not the one, you know, if I need it in this series. And the set, I've got to start shooting him quicker. And it's the same with uh, the opposite way around. If I go do an episode of The Hunt and I get a pearl I haven't got in Project Pearl, I'm going to be like, no, I need that for Project Pearl. Or no, I need that for The Hunt. So yeah, that's kind of the one bad thing about corresponding farming episode series. But I'll have to just get over it. Wow, okay, I am really annoyed now actually. I've just checked the time. This guy. Just drop your bloody shield, mate. Alright? Just drop your shield. Three hours later. I'm not liking this now. It's annoying me. I'll have to check my list in a minute as well. We'll have a steady episode of Borderlands 2 next. I reckon we'll... We'll pick up a unique or two and then we'll just go straight cobra farming. Right, I'm getting mad now, come on. Drop it. No more Mr. Nice Guy here. Ridiculous. Ridiculous. Can't end with nothing. Cannot. Then again, we've got no time limit really. I like to make these 25 minutes to half an hour long. But you've got to be prepared for it. On Borderlands. And we can slip another 5-10 minutes in there if we have to. To pick something else up. This is, this is crazy though. 27 minutes. At 40 seconds a run, you're looking at... It's got to be nearly 50 runs now. It's got to be. At least 40 runs for sure. And there was me thinking, oh, first 10, 15 minutes, I'll get it. Right. Comply. Thank you. Comply. Yeah, you ain't messing with us. You're just not giving us what we want. I've never known him to be this bad before, but like I said at the beginning, not really spent a massive amount of time farming this guy actually. But suppose it's one of those things you've just got to be patient with. Like I said, the more this takes, the more it makes me want to do an army run and just get a shed load of things ticked off the list. Oh god, I didn't fire quickly then. Oh, that's it. Alright. Give me my legendary. <coughs> I feel like an addict going cold turkey at the minute. <laughs> a Borderlands legendary addict. And the power suit noob is my, uh, my counsellor. You're not having any more legendaries. Please, just one. Just one to see me through the day. No, you've got to be strong. I will be a lot stronger with a shield. And then you just turn on your counsellor and kill him. Oh, right. I think we need to issue a statement to the power suit noob. In the next one, he's getting T4SR'd. Because this will be the 30 minute mark once I've finished. So we need to issue a quick statement. And we'll bring the bad boys out. Maybe he'll comply then. Here we go then. You can get T4SR'd as well. Because I'm mad at you. And you can get T4SR'd. Yeah. 
He knew we wasn't messing. He just knew we wasn't messing. See? Why didn't I whack these out sooner? There we go. Finally! We have the shooting star shield, guys. And it's level 70 as well. So I will... Uh, damn it, I've got no room. What can I drop? I'm going to drop something. Something I don't want. I want all of these. Oh, we can drop that now. And that. And that. Yeah, that'll do. Boom. Shooting star. Complete. Right. So, we have done that now. I am going to head over to Borderlands 2. And I'm going to do two or three runs. Wow, he was bang on the 30 minute mark as well. He dropped that. Um, I'm going to head over to Borderlands 2 and do a couple of Cobra runs now. Because uh, we need to start getting on top of that as well. So, if you were... Uh, don't like cobra farming thank you for watching and i'll see you in the next one if you do like cobra farming wait three seconds guess who's back 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 yes here we go then wow it's been so long since i went on borderlands and i've got the wrong character <laughs> oh no wrong salvador that's my uh grog salvador we want proper salvador here thank you right Oh crap, haters folly. <laughs> what was I doing here? Ah, Grendel, yes, I was doing Grendel for a um, Easter egg and secret guide actually. Right, where are we? The beat down. Guess who's back, back, back. Right, 10 minutes of farming these biatches. And how much have I got? I'm full, good. Right, here we go then. Hi boys! Now I've not done beat down farming in a while so I'm probably going to go down because I've lost my technique but well there isn't really that much technique to it it's uh fire north fleets everywhere I'm just try and avoid these big guys right we've got increased drop rates as well remember don't know how increased they are but anything that falls that's blue I am going to uh, I'm going to be very interested in So, let's try and keep this going actually, we can come back on the end, at the end and check all the loot, but let's just try and keep the guns uh, going. Right up to here, let's get some rockets, right where are all the bees? There's one. I'm surprised I haven't gone down yet actually. I normally go down a lot doing this. There we go. I knew it wouldn't take long. Oh, hello. Uh, that wasn't clever. Right, where are the big boys? The big boys are the ones. Oh, I see blue over there. I do see blue over there, but it's not going to be what I want. Let's go and check it really quickly anyway. No, it's a grenade. Lots and lots and lots of North Fleet shots going off here. Haven't seen many of the big guys though. Where are the big guys? And finito. Right. Quick check of the loot. We'll have that painting, why not? Right, that is the grenade. Um, any more blues anywhere? See, I could have checked. I, would, I regret not checking all that loot at the start. But I was just so excited to be here again. Oh, that guy's still swabbing about. Oh, that was close. Right. There's no blue from around here. Let's go and check all this. Yeah, if I have to wait around for my gun to come back in future, I will. But running all the way back here every time just to check everything is a bit annoying. That's purple, isn't it? Yes, damn it. From a distance, that kind of looks a little bit blue. Let's get some rockets. Oh, just my biggest fear is just missing one little corner where the cobra could be lying. Like there. That just goes to show. I know that probably came out of a a pile but that could have quite easily been the cobra and I just would not have seen it if I hadn't have been looking even closer so nothing pretty confident 
But yeah, one day I expect to just log on and get a comment from someone. You missed the Cobra at 4 minutes 56. No! I go and look at the picture and it's there. And I just haven't picked it up. And a lot of people would just say, you know, we, we know that's the Cobra. We can see it. You've got it. We haven't. I haven't picked it up. I have to pick it up. It's my own rule. Even if I drop it again on the floor because it's crap, I have to pick it up. Okay, just a lot of noise and not much action there. Not seeing many of the big guys about. Not seeing many. Oh god! Oh, there you go. <laughs> Asking you shall receive. Right, let's have a good look around. Can't see anything blue at all here. No, no, check all your corners. Okay, let's move on. Get these bloody bikes down. Right, that's enough of that. Come on. Right, they're all on this side now. Got one there. Oh, someone behind me. You can not sneak, please. Thank you. Give me some burners. Oh, sorry, give me some badass burners. I don't know. I don't think it's just them that drop them, but it's certainly a big factor in it. I thought he was down. Obviously not. There we go, that looks like the end. Let's have a quick check round them. Oh, I see blue there. That's a shotgun though. Oh no, there's another guy there. Oh no, it's just a bike. See, anytime you see anything blue, it's one of those moments where it's like, oh, please be, please be what I'm after. Make this easy on me. But that's the beauty of Borderlands. Like I said, there could be... Oh, every time I see blue. Someone, you know, one of you guys could be doing this series as well right now. You could just start up, go, right, first thing I'm going to do is go to the beatdown and uh, do some cobra farming, start it off with. You could get to your first or second run and boom, it could be there. That is, that is the uh, beauty slash annoyance of Borderlands. You know, it's amazing when you sit there and uh, you go and farm a boss and you drop his legendary or unique first time. But then, like you saw in the last episode, you could... Uh, sorry, not the last episode, it's this episode. Uh, you can spend half an hour farming a boss that takes 30 seconds to farm and get absolutely nothing for ages. You've just got to stick with it. Oh, damn, I thought I'd get around that corner. Well, luckily there's someone following me. I just need to get some uh, more rockets in a minute though. Hello. You wasn't expecting me, was you? There we go. Right, check of loots. Nothing. Nothing. Nope, no blue there at all. Right, let's rocket jump up here then, speed things up. Geronimo! Well, that was well rescued. Wow, there's just elements flying everywhere here. Corrosive, slag. Everything you can see is just coming at me. Gotta be careful about going down too much as well. We don't want that insta death. Is that it? This is a bit of a disappointing run. I oh, know there's one more guy over here. Ah, that's what we want. We want you guys. The big boys. Oh, I'm going to go down again. Yep, yeah, and they're quite far away, but it's not too bad. Right. Any blue? Can't see no blue. Let's 
That's a white. Can't see no blue. Just get some rockets. Nope. Ooh, should we go for one more run then? Maybe one or two more runs, I don't know. One or two, one or two. Oh. Two. Let's go for two. Actually, no, I might do one. I don't know. <laughs> I'm sure I'll decide in a second. Well, I've got a bit of lag there. Right. Come on then, boys. Let's just go mental on this one. And then run. Mental, then run. <laughs> what a great combination. Ow. I just sh I was looking at my map there and I just shot at absolutely nothing. Oh god, I've just run into two of the biggest guys here as well. Oh, they're the guys that will drop him if anyone does. Oh, there's another one. Wow, there's a lot of uh, a lot of the big guys this time. Oh, there's one behind me as well. Badass burners. You're the guys that we like. Wow, there's loads on this run. Wow, I've gone down well too much in this first section. But there's a lot of burners about this time. Right, I'm calling for a break in the middle of this so I can check all the loot. wait a while for it to uh, regen uh, guns there but there were so many guys there I just couldn't keep an eye on everything don't look like there's anything here at all though not a blue in sight plenty of white right but we had to check you've just got to check let's get some more rocket ammo while we're cruising down here. Hide. Oh god, he was quicker than I thought. You git. Oh, there's another one. Haha. <laughs> um, right. Let's just pick you guys off one by one. Try and keep me health. I've just thought as well, there is a chest round here somewhere. Borderlands 2 is normally quite good for uh, getting things, legendaries and stuff in chests. So I might go and check out where that is. I'm pretty sure it's on a roof somewhere. I don't know if I did that in the last couple of episodes actually uh, not last couple the last time I came here which was many months ago uh, during this but did I go and open that chest because it's definitely worth it while I'm doing this all the time right there was no blue around here was there there's just purple over there purple down there green a bit of white um, out that was not clever is it up here yes it's up here I'm sure there's a chest up here What is there? Oh yeah. Where is it though? Oh it's there. I was going to say I'm sure there was a chest up here. May as well open this. Might, you never know it might add something to the list. Might add a cobra. <laughs> I wish. Right guys one last run then. And uh, we'll be good to end this bit of a longer episode this episode. But... I'm glad we're getting some cobra farming in finally. It's been a while. It's been a while. It probably has been a while actually, because um, last episode we didn't do it. The episode before I think was a Borderlands 1-ish style episode. So uh, yeah, it's definitely been at least two episodes. Die! Let's just go raining bullets mode. Oh, or we could just go dead me mode
Don't like the look of you coming towards me like that. Oh yeah, that was a good little haul. Get as close to these guys as possible. Wow, there is a lot of burners again this time. Ah, uh, stay back. Should just let them come to me. Uh, I knew there was a guy behind me there, actually. Oh, I'm going down here. Oh, luckily, I think I can get up from this. Thank God for that. I thought I was dead there. No blues at all? Nope, none at all. I uh, got you. Got you, Gits. Right, can we have a good amount of burner bikers, please? Super badasses, whatever you want to call them. Oh, God! I didn't realise I'd gone down that much. No, I'm dead. I hate dying. Oh, right back here. Right back here, what a twit. Oh well, give me a chance to uh, check the loot again. <laughs> no, no. Right, let's go then. Won't take as long to get back, thanks to the power of jumping with rockets. Right, now I'm mad. Hail bullets. Spam click. Wow. <laughs> well, I'll have to remember to look up there actually. Yeah, we're losing rockets fast by doing that though. But at least he's down pretty quickly. Right, there was a guy up here. It's only green. Uh, yellow money. Nope. Unsuccessful again then by the looks of it. Well, there you go guys. Anyway, I'm going to go get this chest and then uh, I wonder. Oh god. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. Why? That was my bad. When you were uh, going to grenade jump, I always check that you haven't picked a grenade up. Damn it, what was that anyway? What are they? Fastball. Damn you, fastball. Screw it, we'll keep it on for now. Damn you, fastball. Well, I should have just quit there, but uh, I want that chest. Anyway, guys, that is another episode of The Hunt. Only one to add to the list today, and that was obviously the thingy ma bobber. <laughs> thingy ma bobber. Shooting star, that's it. The shooting star shield. So. A uh, bit of a steady one. Next episode, I think we'll start out with a bit of cobra farming again. And uh, then we'll probably end up... Um, yes! Um, then we'll probably end up um, maybe in Borderlands 1 at the Armoury. Uh, maybe a Cromorax run as well. But uh, for now, thank you for watching. And I hope you've enjoyed. And I'll see you guys in the next one.